Hey everybody, morning vlog. I'm gonna answer some YouTube questions here. Let me know if this, uh, the camera's pretty far away and the mic's pretty far away. And um, I forgot to bring out my little furry mic, so let me know if this sounds okay. And if you don't say anything, I assume it sounds okay. So uh, question, what kind of martial arts are you doing? Well, the question is, what kind of martial arts did I do? I did martial arts from the age of 10 years old up until about 40. And uh, I started with judo, then karate, and then taekwondo, then kyukushin karate. Uh, then I did catch Campbell for quite a while. I got a black belt in that. I did uh, five years of boxing, I did wrestling, etc. Silat, I did some Muay Thai, I did some uh, Wing Chun for a couple of years, Ryu Kyu Kempo, blah, 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 blah. So I did a lot of different arts, and what I discovered over the years is that each of the arts have something to offer. Some arts are far more practical than others, like boxing and Thai boxing and judo and wrestling in terms of actual combat are much more practical than a lot of karates and kung fu's out there. But every style has something to uh, bring to the table. Anyways, that's what I did. I don't train much anymore. I do stuff on my own, of course, my white crane, uh, just for flexibility and strength and so forth. But that's about it. Next question, can you make a video that explains the real difference between a web designer and a front end developer? And mostly like when a developer and a designer are working together in a company, what are the tasks that each one does? Okay, um, a web designer is somebody who, who builds the front end, the visual component of the website. And they deal more with the aesthetics, the user interface. The, the designer literally designs it to look good, also to make it uh, have good user, usability, good UX, so UI and UX. Whereas the front end developer will make the uh, front end more of an app, will give it app-like functionality. Uh, Vizay is the most popular framework, uh, now library for that is React, of course. And so a front end developer would write all the logical code, if you will, that would connect to some backend, whether it be a PHP backend, a Java backend, uh, a, a Node backend, etc. So you can think of the developer as somebody who adds the functionality to the front end of the site, to the visual component of the site. And the uh, web designer designs it, makes it look good, and, and places things in, in such a way so that it's logical. I hope that uh, makes sense. I just finished learning the basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript. With those languages, can start doing pro can I, I guess he's trying to say, can I start doing projects so I can become a back-end developer? And what can you, I'm trying to read this, what can you make a video about what type of projects can a beginner make? Okay, well, yeah, if you know HTML and CSS, that's enough to become, to start working on your back-end web development. To be clear, if you want to become a web app developer back end, you have to first learn at least HTML and CSS. There's no question about that. Then you can pick your server side programming language, whether it be PHP, Java, C Sharp, Python with the Django or Flask, uh, Ruby, which I wouldn't do. And of course, server side JavaScript with Node and some MVC framework that sets on top of Node. An MVC framework, MVC is short for Model View Controller. It's a framework that makes building web apps uh, easier and much quicker. So yeah, once you know just HTML and CSS, you can go forward trying to learn, to learn rather a server-side programming language. And uh, what kind of projects? Start with simple projects. You know, you might start up with a simple e-commerce site that hooks up with PayPal or hooks up with Stripe and that will get you going in terms of building a web app. I'll answer this final question. I got a lot more, but whatever. That carpet on the wall is not Slavic. It is actually Indian. And uh, I just bought it because I like the colors at that time. And that's pretty much it. Uh, well, I bought that because I like the colors at the time because when you're buying furniture for your house, your big pieces of furniture should be 
um, neutral in terms of the color. I used to have this giant big red leather couch, you know, very stylish, but it was it became too much. You got this huge red couch in your room. It just, it, it overpowers you and gets you angry. So what I learned was that when you decorate your place, your big pieces, your couches and so forth, should be very neutral. And then if you want to add a little splash of color, pizzazz, you do something like buy a carpet like this, it's all shiny, because you could just take it down. Or a vase, it's shiny and uh, it's red, you know. Accent pieces have splashy color, and your main pieces, your big pieces, are neutral. All right, there you go, ciao.